pruning an apple tree to maximize the fruit production and minimize the insect disease problems is not difficult, but it does require a little planning. Ultimately, a tree that's nice and open allows the wind to breeze through and the sun to filter through to the fruit to ripen the fruit evenly. And again, by doing that, you're minimizing the insect and disease problems. Now this is a tree that I've kept reasonably well pruned over the last eight years. It was planted eight years ago and uh, it just needs a little bit of thinning. Now you're not going to bowl cut it, in other words you're not going to prune it for shape, but rather you can get into the middle of the tree and you're going to use a pair of loppers to prune off some of the bigger pieces of wood like, like this. And my Mark's Choice tree loppers do the job very, very nicely. Clean up stuff like this, these, this small secondary growth that uh, is only between one and two years old. And it's fairly easy to do, it's fairly easy to do, and in taking out the one to three year old growth in the middle of the tree, then you allow that sun to filter in and the wind, of course, to pass through very nicely. Here's another one that has to come out. Now, if you've got a mature apple tree that really needs some work and some rejuvenation, this is probably and the best way to do it is to use a good pruning saw like this, a pruning saw that prunes on the fore stroke and the back stroke, and you'll be taking out wood similar to this. I won't take it out of this tree because it doesn't need it. When you're pruning large branches like this, you want to get right down to the main trunk of the tree. You want to score the underside first and then cut through from the top to remove the limb. Do this with no more than a third of the tree at one time and uh, do it over a period of years if the tree has been ignored for many, many years at once. And finally, the best time of year to prune your apple tree is late winter early spring before they uh, come into the blossom period. And the reason for that is pruning through the summer encourages lots of water sprouts. You know, those, 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 the, that growth that just takes off straight up, up, upwards looking for the sun. So you do that and you're going to end up with some pretty good looking apples at the end of the season, guaranteed.